Plus, one of my least favorite things to do, wake up early in the morning. So much fun. Not. If the sun isn't out, you shouldn't be awake. That's my motto. Here Ryan is. He had absolutely no idea he was in the camera's view because we were using a fisheye. We had just gotten this thing. Morning breath is not good, so getting rid of that. Ryan actually made me eggs, over medium eggs, in the morning on, for me to eat on the way to the airport so I wouldn't be starving on the plane. So sweet. He's super stoked to be up early, can you tell? This was actually my first trip to New York ever, if you can believe that. Um, I got super lucky and I was sitting behind this screaming kid the whole time. I tried to get him there for you, but it didn't quite work out. Look how cold it is. It was the coldest it had been in 35 years in New York when I was there. And I pretty much almost died being from California. Um, really nice welcome to New York. It was freezing. And it felt like I waited about 700 years for my taxi driver outside here in the cold. Yep. My taxi driver is cool enough to drive super close to the side so I could get all this footage. If there is a zombie apocalypse in New York, everyone there is totally fucked. Look at this graveyard. And for my trip to New York, I decided to stay at the Hotel Hugo and just kind of treat myself. I'd never been to New York and I usually would never spend that much on a hotel, but it looked super snazzy. So I was like, why not? Of course, my room was next to the maintenance closet and this was a room from Hotel Tonight. So I got like the shittiest room that they had, but I still paid a pretty high amount. So turns out I'm a sucker. Bathroom is pretty cool though. And the awesome view of nothing. And while I was in New York, I got to meet Kayla and have an awesome girl date at this super cool restaurant. <laughs> Look at these shelves. I was like obsessed with these. I was like, I wanna pack these up and bring these to my house. I love them. This is probably like the tiniest gym in the world. It's like, stay strong, our gym sucks. We know you're gonna get through it. They didn't even have water in there. I couldn't even believe it. But here I was in my rainbow sneakers from Why Are You trying to like make the best of it here. I was like the only person that went in this gym the entire time I was there. And finally, Jessica arrived from Australia. And we were like, oh my God, what should we do? We're fucking in New York. And so we decided to go to Sephora because she had never been to a Sephora before. This was her first time in the United States ever and I got to share it with her. So I'm feeling pretty special. Then because our faces were like frozen, like crazy, we decided to go and get some tea. Since she's from England, she was like, I want some tea. So we went to this tea place and our waiter was actually from Australia, which was hilarious because all in all of New York, the first person she had an interaction with was from Australia. Then we had a super hilarious cab driver. Let's listen to our conversation. So many women are available like that, you know? That's, that's, why, that's why you don't date young men. Because mm -hmm. they're stupid little pricks. But I, how long were you dating? Uh, two, three years. That's all? Yeah. In Manhattan, the girls they stay together six, seven years. For two, three years, they are just hanky-panky. I think the God gave a very good uh, memory Two things you gotta give it to the women. Those are wonderful. Number one, most of the women have a very good memory. I have terrible memory. Me too. Number <laughs> two, number two, the women have yards a left. good patient. No, patient. I have terrible patient. I don't have patient. patient you know? I, I didn't get either of those. No, things. you learn. So I haven't got much When you get married. I also randomly found Nick Lachey in Times Square. super cool bathroom, so what else was I supposed to do? And New York pizza. This pizza was actually not very good, I hate to say it. Uh, I probably didn't go to the best place, but not super tasty. We also went to the Hershey's um, store, and Jessica was so stoked because she found those white chocolate Hershey Kisses. After the Hershey store, we went to the Hard Rock because they had these really sweet lights. I really loved them. And I got my mom a little drunk on tequila shots. She's right there. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a lot of fun. 
And you guys are probably wondering why I was in New York. We were all in New York for filming a bridal TV show. Here we are in the back room. And um, that's my friend Dave and Jessica came and that's my weird mom. And so it's called Brides Gone Styled and you might have seen me randomly flash across your TV screen on one of the commercials, but it premieres on June 12th and um, I will be in the premiere episode. So check it out. This was backstage. I was trying to like be all stealth and like film this because like you totally weren't allowed to film back there at all. But I went ahead and did it anyway. Here's some of the dresses that the girls got to pick from for the show. This was after the first day of filming. We were beat. Don't give Dave a camera. He really doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> they uh, sold beers in the lobby of this um, crappy hotel that they put us up in. So we definitely were drinking some Corona before we went out to get some food. Dave is such an awesome cameraman. Look at this freaking weirdo right now. <laughs> Super hot angle, it's nice. Oh, best part of the day, when you get to take your extensions out oh, and rub your head, yes. Or have your friends play with them. And finally, the last day of filming, I was absolutely exhausted. This ended up being a 15 hour day and I was in a wedding dress pretty much the entire day and um, I was just exhausted and super ready for this to be over. But at the end of the day, it was actually quite fun because we got to hang out with Greta Monaghan and Robert. Uh, so this is pretty fun, check it out. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. And look how gorgeous this space is. <laughs> I love it. I did this tattoo, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. This was this is all his work right here. It's fake. It's not a real tattoo. It's like one of those ones that you press on. But she's gonna go with this as long as she can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ladies, say hi to the GoPro. Hi GoPro. <laughs> you guys look like super hot um, Thai uh, transgender um, sisters. Yeah, we do. We just did my lady name boys. is Bing Bong Foo Foo. What's your name? <laughs> oh God, I'd be like Ping Pao. Titties. <laughs> yes, go with that. Yeah. Go with that. <laughs> I mean, pink surgery. Don't worry, come back in six months and she'll be named by me. <laughs> <laughs> is my name Bing Bong? Bing Bong Foo Foo. Your name is Bing Bong Foo Foo. You were born in Thailand in 1961. <laughs> and, and at the age of six, you worked in the red light district, <laughs> where you discovered your love and fascination of men. And after keeping company with some, several of those men, <laughs> you decided to start wearing makeup and portray yourself in a classic female form. <laughs> I like now, that pentacast. Where is it? Because that is years. a good tuck. It's, there. it's a special tuck technique. This duct tape on hand. We should make a YouTube times. video about that. <laughs> and could you imagine, I think 67 years later, looking at you. Perfectly preserved. Those Asian girl boys never crack. They always look perfect. <laughs> That's true. I think the secret goes on. And finally, on my way back home, thank goodness, because I was having like anxiety being away from Ryan for so long. Uh, yeah, you might call us a little bit codependent, just a tiny little bit. But yes, um, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy the video on the video. I mean, the TV show on TLC. It will be up on June 12th for their premiere. It's called Brides Gone Styled, and it is on TLC. So make sure you TiVo that shit so you can watch me cry on national television. Yes, I did cry, and most likely they're gonna put it in there because it is, after all, a reality TV show. If you guys enjoyed this vlog style video, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.